Uh, maybe a lot of you have never heard of the word denazification before, but today I will break down my research about denazification. Um, before that, let me introduce myself. My name is Denny Gifari, uh, and I'm a German studies graduate. Uh, so, denazification, uh, what is this? Originally, denazification was a government initiative adopted in post-World War II Germany. Uh, basically, the, the Nazification is a specific set of propaganda aiming to alienate Nazism from the German public. The Nazification was implemented in many forms, whether institutional, social, or cultural. My research focuses in the cultural domain of the Nazification. In simplistic term, the Nazification in culture is manifested within the spirit of anti-Nazism that can be implemented, for example, by portraying Nazi or neo-Nazi in an exaggerated negative manner. My research is aiming at answering the question of whether or not the Nazification still persists in popular culture. To answer that, I analyze a Netflix series, Dogs of Berlin. By the time my research is done, the series had one season that consists of 10 episodes. Uh, the story of the series revolves around two detectives investigating a murder case. The series depicted numerous characters of neo-Nazi and they are the specific objects that I analyze. To, to, to analyze them, I use two art holes, preferred reading, uh, to figure out whether or not it is used by the film. Because that would mean that the film is carefully structured to aim at narrowly specific interpretations. Uh, yeah. uh, in order to reach the conclusions, I use both textual and contextual approach to comprehend the structure of uh, my presentations within the series. In terms of visual representation, the series depicted neo-Nazis in numerous ways. Uh, I specifically analyzed the attributes, costumes, hair, and tattoos of the characters, but here I will skip the hair analysis because there is simply not enough time. For the attributes, the ser series used numerous right-wing extremist props such as racist posters, um, military insignia, and several flags like Nazis and Imperial flags. Series made it clear that these attributes belong to neo-Nazi group identity as all of them are placed on the neo-Nazi headquarters. Some are subtly placed, the others are carefully placed to catch viewers' eyes. Uh, apart from the attribute, the series also depicted neo-Nazi costume in an exaggerated manner. The majority of the neo-Nazi characters in the film wear skinhead apparel such as Fred Perry and Ben Sherman shirts. Dog market in boots, bomber jackets, and suspenders. All those items are considered to be skinhead fetish items. Uh, well, not only that, in a split second, we can also see a character wearing a jacket with a German phrase audience that Jesus written on its back. Uh, the translation of that phrase is Odin instead of Jesus. Uh, that emphasizes the character's religious preference because Odinism is one of the most popular beliefs in a skinhead subculture especially for neo-Nazi skinheads. Uh, the last visual aspect from the series that I analyze is tattoos. Uh, the series has countless tattoos displayed on neo-Nazi skin's characters. Uh, most of the tattoos depicted in the series one way or another represent ultra-nationalism. For instance, eagle tattoo, swastika, uh, and HKN KRZ. Uh, which is an abbreviation of Hakenkreuz, uh, the German word for swastika. Uh, the second part of my research is to analyze the characterization, the visual aspects of neo-Nazi characters portrayed in the series are coupled with relatively negative uh, behaviors they bear. Several Several stereotypical traits which the neo-Nazis have in the series are violence, brutality, and racism. You can see the, their violence and brutality in this clip. Johan! Bitte! Johan! Ah! 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 
That first clip is a scene of tattoo removal. Uh, the technique used to remove the tattoo is known as cryosurgery. Normally in cryosurgery, the surgeon would apply anesthetic before attempting the operation. But in the series, the whole removal was done without a single drop of anesthetic, which of course would result in pain. second scene is pretty clear I guess it's a brawl scene between the neo-nazi group and the Turkish gang well not only that the neo-nazi characters are pretty racist too for instance throughout the series they refer to the Turkish as Kanake yes Kanake is highly derogatory My research concludes that the series is one example of the Nazification in pop culture by pairing the very much exaggerated neo-Nazi group identity with undesirable behaviors, which consists of uh, violence, brutality, and racism. And yes, I say that it is exaggerated because all of, all of the neo-Nazi characters uh, seem to be very proud to display every single visual and characteristic stereotypes. Uh, that is all from me. Uh, thank you very much.